What's up guys, Steve here. Tonight we are going to talk about vehicle titling and the types of titles that are involved. Our title, salvage title, clean titles, insurance for our titles, drivability of our titles, and what it could mean for buying and selling these vehicles because there are a lot of people out there that do that for an investment opportunity. Stay tuned. <laughs> So first, right off the top, let's talk about the different types of titles you can have on a vehicle, okay? You have your typical, your clean title. This is the car that came out, came out of the factory to a lot. There's nothing wrong with it. It's never been into an accident. The damage has been caused. Its history and VIN number are clean. This is called a clean title. Now, this is typical with the drivability, as long as it passes, depending on your state inspection for emissions and mechanical issues, it is drivable, okay? Now, you have salvage titles. This is a big one a lot of people ask about. This is what a lot of people buy and will try to repair, okay? And then next is the salvage title. A salvage titled vehicle is a vehicle that was absolutely totaled in an accident. And we will get into how a vehicle is totaled and what that means in just a couple seconds. But a salvage vehicle, it was totaled. That's the title that is slapped on it once it is the claim is covered by the insurance company. And from that point, the salvage vehicle could actually be sold as a salvage product to someone who was repairing and flipping cars. Okay? So a salvage car is a vehicle that was just totaled. And then what you hear about, what you see for sale all the times, and a lot of people are very leery about, are our titled cars. And our title means rebuilt or reconstructed. And in our title, it starts as a salvage vehicle. It was a total, total loss vehicle and as deemed by the insurance companies. And then it was purchased and repaired and rebuilt and passed, depending on the state, a certification inspection that got it passed and set as an R titled vehicle, meaning it can be titled for driving. Some, some insurance companies will cover it and the insurance aspects coming later. And there are a ton of these vehicles out on the market and we will get into more about that just a little bit later. Totaled vehicles, what does this mean? How does a vehicle get totaled? Okay, so this also kind of depends on the state. But typically, if the amount that it will cost an insurance company to repair a vehicle, if that number is greater than what its actual market value is, the insurance company will typically just total it out, okay? Call it a total loss. It would cost more money to repair this vehicle than it's actually worth. So insurance companies aren't in the business for, make, for losing money, so they're going to total it out, cut their losses, and move on with their lives, okay? This varies state to state. In Pennsylvania, where I live, they use a system that compares the total loss formula, which is the cost of the repairs, and this means the actual work, the labor, the storage fees, the towing, your rental car, and any other expenses that are incurred for the repair of a vehicle, this all goes into this figure. And they add that to the scrap value of the vehicle, which would be the opportunity cost that, they, that would be involved if they did not elect to scrap it. Okay, so you have the scrap value plus the total amount of the repairs and everything incurred with that. If that number is greater than or equal to the actual market value of the vehicle, the insurance company is going to total it. And that's how most of the 50 states operate. Some have a certain set percentage, whether it's 50% or 75% like in Alabama. But in Pennsylvania and a lot of other states, they use the total loss formula which is the total amount of repairs plus the scrap value of the vehicle. And if that is greater than the value, they ax it, it gets totaled, and it then is titled with a salvage title, okay? So there are a lot of people out there that they will buy up these salvage vehicles. They'll put work in. A lot of them do the work themselves, mechanic shops, and there are places that they just do restorations. They will buy the vehicle. They will rebuild the vehicle and then they will try to sell it for a profit, okay? So if you buy a salvage car here, just totaled out, you just buy this awesome Lamborghini, you got a kill you got for a steal because it was totaled when somebody drove it into a pole, okay? You buy this totaled Lamborghini, 
salvage title. You do the work, you rebuild this Lamborghini, it's beautiful, it's ready to go, you take it and it passes a new certification inspection. So now your formerly totaled Lamborghini has a brand new R title, it's able to be insured, and this Lamborghini is now road legal. So you move on to the next step, which is insurance, okay? This is where it gets tricky and this is what scares some people off from buying our title vehicles in that the insurance can be very, very tricky, okay? A lot of insurance companies won't touch an our title vehicle just for the simple fact of the liability because case by case, our title vehicles can go either way. You know, it could be a great buy, a vehicle that was totaled for something. You know, it could have just been a theft and some states will total for a vehicle that was stolen and maybe, maybe they ripped the engine out and they ripped the tranny out, they gutted it, but the body's fine, the frame's fine, there was really no interior damage. So yeah, you drop a new engine transmission, do that work, and you have a brand new car. So that would be a good situation. Or you could have a flood damaged, water damaged car, which you know, the, you're going to put a ton of money into, and that car is never going to hold value. Or a vehicle with frame damage that'll never pass in it, uh, never pass a correct inspection that just frankly isn't safe. Okay, as a case by case basis, these are all different. And this is why insurance companies just most of them don't even bother with it. And if they do, there are going to be limitations on the kind of coverages you can have. Not many companies out there were going to give you full coverage on this vehicle. Liability is a lot more common, and actually, Geico is, they're known for how open they are to dealing with our title vehicles. So keep that in mind if you're in this business. Geico seems like it's the place to go. Okay, so now, is buying a to is buying an our title vehicle worth it? Okay, a lot of people are attracted to this for one reason. They're cheaper, okay, and they're cheaper for a reason. You were buying a vehicle that was a total loss at one point, and then you were basically buying the trust in the people who bought it, the people who fixed it, and the company that certified it. All of these things are at play, a whole lot of variables there. If you can trust that work with basically your life, that you're taking your hands in this vehicle out on the roadways, then it could end up being a decent investment for you. On the flip side, there is a chance that you could be buying a vehicle that is a piece of crap. The only way to consider purchasing an R title vehicle is you have to consider it on a case by case basis, on a vehicle by vehicle basis. So most people are attracted to R title vehicles in general because they're a lot cheaper and that comes for a reason. In the not so distant past, this vehicle was considered a total loss. Okay, so there was some traumatic event in the life of this vehicle that where it got creamed, it got stolen, it got flooded out, it burnt down in a parking lot somewhere, and the vehicle was considered a total loss. So you have to figure out yourself, do the research yourself, that money you'd be saving on purchasing this vehicle, spend some money and buy the Carfax, or just buy a VIN history report for a vehicle. That's the nice thing. You can buy the history report tied to the VIN number and you can figure out everything that's been reported against that VIN number. And that is absolutely paramount when you're buying an R title vehicle because you need to figure out what had happened, okay? And then you need to have a, a mechanic that you trust that's going to look at this vehicle and they're going to give you a, you know, say, yeah, clean bill of health, this is good to go, goodbye, okay? Put yourself in that situation. Check the history. Also, if there's no history to the vehicle, to the VIN, if it's been washed, run away right then. It doesn't matter how clean it is. There's illegal stuff going on. Just stand up, get out. If you're standing in somebody's front yard, punch them in the face, no deal. Go back to Craigslist. You get back in your car and you leave. That is a product of what is called title washing. Title washing, this has been very common with hurricane areas and flood flood loss vehicles okay you know for value one of the worst things that can happen to a vehicle is flood damage just what it does to the electronics the interior uh, the mold that can grow it's just all around bad flood loss vehicles they're steer clear if it ever if whenever possible okay but people were taking these vehicles from down in louisiana florida 
they were taking them across state lines and they were re-registering the vehicles in attempts to completely clear the history on the VIN number. And for a couple years, this went on and this actually had worked. And there were people buying what they assumed was a perfectly clean VIN or a clean title car. And it had actually been totaled or it was a flood car. So all of these problems arise. There were lawsuits. People went to prison. And it's still possible to this day for someone to be able to do this but it is against the absolute law, and it's also the law if you're buying or selling an R-Title vehicle. You have to disclose the fact that that vehicle is an R-Title vehicle at the time of sale. If not, that is illegal. So if you're posting a car you're trying to sell on the Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist, and you fail to disclose it was an R-Title vehicle, you could be found liable. Same if you have purchased a vehicle and you come to find that it has an R title when you go to insure it or what have you, um, the, the seller is responsible for that and they just broke the law. So pay attention to that. That is a big one, okay? So looking back, we covered the types of titles for vehicles. You have clean, which is fine, salvage, which is a newly towed vehicle, and an R title, which is a salvage vehicle that had been repaired and has passed a certification inspection. Then we covered what a totaled vehicle means, and every state's different, and in Pennsylvania, a totaled vehicle is one where the total loss formula, the price of repairs, plus the scrap value opportunity cost, if that number is greater than the value, it gets totaled. Other states vary. The prospect of buying and selling our title vehicles and the risk that comes there, something to be aware of. It is against the law. People have gone to prison for this. So keep your eyes open and please, if you're buying anything with an R title, pay the 30 bucks or whatever it is, get the Carfax on it, get a VIN history report, do your research. If you're saving money in the long run, if you're saving a thousand bucks, spending $30 on a VIN history report is not going to kill you. Also, one thing to note, if you're planning on buying an R title vehicle with an auto loan, most banks, actually, I, I'm not personally sure of any banks that will give you a loan to purchase an R title vehicle for the same reason insurance companies don't want to touch them. There are way too many variables at play. Okay, you don't know who repaired that car, what the damage of that car was. So banks and insurance companies just say, screw that, not worth our time, we're not doing it. So you will be purchasing either out of pocket or the personal loan, which in my opinion, buying a vehicle with a high interest personal loan is one of the worst financial things you can do. So avoid that if at all possible. And in closing, is buying an R title vehicle worth it? And again, it is on a case by case basis okay there are good ones out there and there are some really bad ones out there okay there have been people that have been burnt and there are people that all they'll do is buy our title vehicles they know someone who does the work themselves they trust them and they've had good experiences and that's gone the other way as well so case by case basis do your homework if you're looking to save some money put in the sweat equity and do your research ask the right questions Look at the VIN history. If the VIN history isn't there, freaking run away right now. And that is just about it. That's pretty comprehensive on um, vehicle titling, R titles, salvage titles, clean titles. If you have any questions out th about this at all, leave a comment down below. Find me on social media. This video was made for Jamin, my man on Facebook. He had recommended it during a thread I had on video ideas. So he came through with this one. I got the video made. Hopefully it works out, answers any questions you have. And if there's something you don't agree with, just let me know. I'm not perfect. I'm just damn close. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm like five foot two and balding. So uh, yeah, my life sucks. But hey, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, the share button, all of the buttons down below. Leave a comment, say something nice, say something mean. If you're going to say something mean, subscribe so you can say something mean again next time. Okay? Thank you for watching. Have a good night.